everyone! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Moira and today, ipagpapatuloy natin itong ating thesis. This will be our last push before my defense. First, before I get into what I'm going to be doing today, update ko kayo kung ano yung mga nangyari these past few days, weeks. First, nagkaroon ako ng una kong presentation. That was what I was working on in the last video. So, here's an update on that. Oh my gosh, guys! Kaka-uwi ko lang. That was oh, sobrang weird ng day na to. Today was my first presentation. Parang first out of two na parang medyo mock. Well, actually, ito pa. Sa, ewan, sa yun. Anyways, so, before yung nag-presentation, may inattend muna kaming lecture. Tapos, after noon, presentation na. Tapos, I was feeling really good. Kasi, parang ako, oh my gosh, ito, yes, tatapusin na lang to. Tapos, makakahinga na ako. Biglang nung nag-start na, alphabetical kasi, so medyo malayo pa ako. Sobrang, oh my god, as in, nakakatakot yung mga comments nung prof ko. As in, as in, nakala ko, represent ka lang, tapos, ano, sasabihin na, okay, ganun, improve on this, ganun. Pero hindi, as in, criticize kung criticize. So, parang ako, oh my god, kinakabahan na ako. Nung time ko na, nag-present ako, tapos, after ko mag-present, binuksan ko na agad notebook ko, ready na ako isulat lahat ng mga critique sa akin nung prof ko. Tapos, hindi siya nagalit. <laughs> More of, okay, good flow, good zoning, tapos parang, what? Ano nangyayari ngayon? Ah! Sobrang saya ko lang na ah! parang nagbigay siya ng tips on how to improve pero hindi naman siya like Bang <laughs> Ganon. So, yun. Sobrang saya ko. Sobrang hindi ko inexpect as in naghahanda na ako na parang sinasabi sorry ko okay more kung ano man sabihin ngayon magkaiiyak ako magkaiiyak. <laughs> so, sobrang saya ko lang. Oh my gosh as in hindi ko talaga inexpect. <laughs> Sobrang thank you, Lord. <laughs> and then after, gumawa na rin ako ng mga interior perspectives. So today, I am going to show you how I do my interior perspectives. Yung design ko ngayon is the academic classroom. Tapos, una kong ginagawa is dinedelete ko lahat nung hindi kailangan sa file para maliit lang yung file para mabilis lang mag-render. Dinelete ko na lahat. Ito lang yung tinera ko halos. This is the room that we're going to put furniture in and then here I have yung uli yung layout niya. Before ako mag-start, nag-search na ako ng mga inspiration ko, ganun. Ganito yung gusto kong mangyari na mayroong artwork sa likod. Pero, fee ko gagawin ko related sa Philippines. Ganyan. So, mga Ganyan. Ayan. So first, let's go shopping at the 3D warehouse. Since one of my concepts was flexibility na yung student yung pwede mag-decide kung ano yung gusto niyang upaan. Iba't ibang klaseng upaan. So, mayroong couch, mayroong beanbags, mayroong chairs and tables, stools, ganon. So, so, we're finding a couch. Usually, pinipili ko basta dapat maganda and at the same time, maliit lang yung file. And so far, lahat sila mukhang box. <laughs> na yung mga possible na pwede kong gamitin. Although, is scale down ko pa tong beanbag kasi sobrang laki niya. First, papilitan ko muna tong back wall. Ayan. So, it's ibong ador na ata siya para related sa Filipino. May mention ko na lang sa references kung saan nanggaling yung mga pictures. Tapos, let's rearrange the furniture. And just like that, it's rendering. And then we actually had another presentation. Yung talaga yung pinaka mock defense talaga. Two sections siya together. Tapos, kung sino yung prof sa kabilang class, siya yung magbibigay ng comments about sa presentation mo. So, here are some of the comments that I got. Hindi naman ganun ka harsh yung comments. Mga unang comments parang ano pa. Very good! Yes! Miss Mercado is very fluent in the language. Very loud and, and commanding voice. Confident. I like her, Trump. You like me! <laughs> Hanggang sa pa dulo na na nagkaano siya ng tips for improvement tapos sinabi din niya that for an art school form is too simple daw ganon so I could experiment more with the facade whatever I tried to improve on it pero kasi mga 2 days na lang hindi naman mga 2 days pero yung mga 2 days before ko kailangan mag print I tried pero hindi rin siya nag work para sa akin hindi ko siya feel so parang ko <laughs> <laughs> Yon, I printed my final sheets and boards and I passed it last Thursday. 
Wow, it's almost 5 a.m. I've been working on this like literally mga 2 p.m. pa lang trade loy. And I'm finally done! Natapos ko na yung mga architectural sheets. So, ito yung mga MEPS diagrams. As in, ngayon ko lang ginawa yung mga diagrams na yan. Grabe. Fire safety, power, mechanical, water, Sanitary. Oh, diba? Yay! Makakatulog na ako. Tapos gigising ako siguro yung mga 9.30 para naman gawin ko na yung mga boards. Oh my gosh! These are the boards that I'm going to pass. Grabe, ang tagal ko din itong ginawa. Hindi in-extend yung deadline. Edit ko pa rin yan kahit after ko ipass. Eh, pwede naman daw. This is the main board and ito, ito yung ipopost sa Haraya or yung parang exhibit. So, yan yung maganda. <laughs> yung maraming laman. Tapos, as you go on, paunti siya ng paunti. <laughs> Kasi hindi ko na alam kung ano ilalagay. So, yan yung mga interior perspectives. Ganun, elevations. And last, nagdagdag lang ako ng structurals and acoustics. Today is submission of final boards and sheets and I already got my sheets printed last Monday. Tapos yung boards ko nasa UP na kasi I didn't deliver dun. So mamaya ko pa makikita ng submission. Pakita ko sa'yo mamaya. Pero this is my, these are my sheets. Uh, laki niya. It's 20 by 30 guys. Ito lang yung kamay ko. Tapos ganyan kalaki. Nakala ko maliit lang siya. So, parang ako, hindi makikita yung mga mistakes ko. Pero ang laki-laki pala. Ayan. So we have floor plans and then you have elevations elevation section this one is for the theater acoustics ganyan uh, structural diagrams and details tapos puro diagrams na ng mechanical electrical whatever It is Holy Week. It is Holy Tuesday. And I'm going to be making my sketch model. And I start na ako by um, cutting like the bases, like yung mga floors, ganyan. And second floor, third floor, roof deck, whatever. Ooh, thumbnail! I print din ako ng mga floor plans para may reference ako. And then mamaya, hopefully, tulungan ako ni Micah kasi it's going to be on a 20 by 30 base. So, ayan, ganyan kalake yung magiging base niya. Hopefully, this goes well. And I'm so ready to start because I'm so ready to end this. Kasi ayoko na. Ayoko na. Okay. Anyways, let's go. Yeah, iba tayo ng angle because a rare Micah appeared. <laughs> Ay, wow. And tinutulungan na niya na ako. I thought that why not make this into a Q&A video while we do this sketch model since may mga comments na higo na lang sasagot kasi sobrang busy sa thesis. I have some questions over here. First one says, I'm not good in drawing pero mag arky ako. Mamamatay ba ako? Um, hindi ko alam kung kailan ka mamamatay or kung paano. <laughs> Hindi ko mamamatay. Siguro yung mahihirapan ka lang na ontit. Gaya na sabi ko dati, hindi naman measure yung drawing kung gano'ng kagaling mag-design. Kasi drawing is not the same as designing. Madalas yun yung tanong na kung hindi ba ako magaling mag-drawing, hindi ako pwede mag-arky, gano'n. Not, that's not true. Kasi as seen from this thesis, puro computer programs yun lang yung ginagamit. So, you'll be fine. Wait lang. Gawa mo na tayo. Next question is, Ate, may research-based po bang option ng thesis sa UPRP? Ang alam ko meron, sinabi din naman sa amin sa start of the year na kung gusto mong gumawa ng bagong material, ganun, in construction, or pwede naman. Pero yung thesis din naman na ginagawa ko ngayon, medyo research-based din siya. Like, yun yung ginagawa namin sa first half ng year. So, yun yung ginawa ko nung first sem. Kailangan ko talaga mag-research ko ng thesis. Wala kang kawala. <laughs> Where to buy the hard wall hooks? You can buy it at Wilcon. <laughs> Did your classes require some supplies when you were a freshie? From Eliza Brian Romero. Yes, uh oh no. 
first day namin binigyan kami ng list ng mga kailangan. So, like, itong mga cutting mat, ruler, scale ruler, ki different kinds of pencils, yun. Is it true that most UP Archie students stay at the campus late in the night just for ACADs? That is so true as in, actually, maswerte pa nga ako sa prof ko. <laughs> kasi, hindi kami nagsistay ng super duper late kasi yung ibang, ano, ibang thesis na section. So, maabot sila minsa mga 10 p.m., 11. Hindi ko nga may 12 midnight pay for consultation. Yung latest siguro sa class namin, mga 9 p.m. ganun. Kasi ano din yun, design classes namin is at night, mga 4.30 to 9 p.m. yung max. Last question from Eliza. Uh, there's this plate I saw of a building resembling the form of a crab made by one architecture student. So I'm wondering whether you also have forms of inspiration you usually channel when making your plates. Actually, yun nga yung turo sa amin sa UP Archie na meron ka dapat concept ganon kung siguro concept niya crab. Pero Ang weird naman nun, crab. Okay, anyways, in architecture kasi, uh, hindi rin dapat kinipake siya to literally na, kunwari, concept mo is uh, boat. Hindi ka gagawa ng building na literal na boat, ganun. Kasi, yung point din naman siya, ganun kaganda. For a dapat it take into consideration mo din yung context ng site, ganun, yung climate, whatever. Pero for this plate specifically, yung pinaka concept ko na kasi is 21st century learning. So, more of tricks or techniques on how to incorporate that into the architecture of the building. Pero hindi yung tipong concept ko is uh, shoe. So, gagawa ko ng shape ng shoe. Basta, gets nyo ba? Basta ganun. <laughs> Question. My question is sana ako regarding our tiny room and how to improve like that. Simple, cozy, and very relaxing. Um, ito yung sa video ni Micah. Yes. Uh, thank you. And I inspire us a bit more to reorganize and make over room namin. Hoping to hear it from you soon. So, here is my answer. <laughs> Actually, mas madali ngang gawin yun para sa mga tiny rooms. Kasi since tiny na yung space, very intimate na yung setting. To make it like cozy, yung pinaka na isip ko is more of the texture, like mga fur rugs or blankets na super soft. Faux fur ha, faux fur pillows. More of neutral colors then. Para it's easy on the eyes. Pero ayun ko, para lang sa akin yun ha. Bilisan na natin to para magawa ng may. Saan pa nakakabili ng floating shelf? Sa Wilcon ulit. What is the size of your room ball? My room is around 4 by 3 meters. And last, Arky here. Any thesis tips? Haha. <laughs> After ko ko gagawa na lang ng separate video of like what I learned from thesis. At saka thesis tips or tips on studying in general. So yeah, those are all the questions. And we're just gonna get back to this para matapos na. So let go, Micah. Eh? Wala? Ano? So after four hours <laughs> of non-stop work, nagawa na namin yung mga inner walls ng second and third floors. Ayan, layout ko na tong roof deck. Tapos ngayon si Mike, <laughs> hindi siya masaya. Pinapaano ko na sa kanya yung grass. Tapos mahirap pala. Akala ko masaya siya. Never ko pa kasi na-try. So I'm so sorry, <laughs> Mike. <laughs> Okay lang niya, bibigyan naman kita pagkain eh. <laughs> Day 1 of model making done. So far, ito na yung nagawa. Okay na yung mga floors. Ganyan, lalagyan ko na lang ng exterior walls tomorrow. Tapos itutuloy yung pag uh, layout ng grass. Ito, medyo okay na sa first floor. Mag-start pa lang dito sa roof deck. Tapos, di itong site. Kailangan lagyan ng napakadaming grass. Day 2 of model making and medyo nagpapanik na ako slight kasi mag lang ako ngayon dahil may pupuntahan sila Maika. But eto na, ginawa ko na yung site. I-fill up ko na lang ng grass later tapos kakagawa ko lang nitong amphitheater. Ayan, ginawa ko pa talagang pababa. <laughs> hindi ko lang kung bakit ko to ini-effort na masyado as in, hindi ko hindi naman ito masyado titingnan. Anyways, tas ayan, tas talagyan ko na 
ng Grestong Amphitheater. Nilagay ko na yung ground floor dito sa base. Salagay ko na ngayon yung second and third para makagawa na ako ng exterior walls. This is so scary kasi bawal magkamali. Hindi naman. Right now, I am doing the louvers kasi ang dami nila. Tapos, hmm, nakapag-isip ako ng mas madaling way. So, una, ginawa kong ganito. Actually, madami to. Mga 12 batches of louvers to. Pero, pinag-isa-isa ko muna para yung strip, isahan na lang yung paglagay ko. Like, mga ganyan. Tapos, tsaka ako na lang siya ikakot. Something like this. Ayan. Together pa siya. And now, I'm going to cut it. Uh, pinatuyo ko muna yung blue bago ko i-cut. Oh my gosh, ano maayos. One, two, uh oh, <laughs> three, four. So, ayan, yeah, now I have four sets of louvers. Grabe, guys, mag 11 pm na. Pinainis ako kasi sobrang bagal ko gumawa. Ayun yun yung model. Pero halos malapit na din after nitong louvers, siguro columns na lang. Tas lalagyan ko na lang ng grass yung base ganyan. This is day two progress. Ah, it's looking almost real. Nilagay ko na yung ibang louvers dyan. Tapos, meron din banda dito. Naglalagay pa ako ng mga columns. And yung, yun nga, yung louvers. Pagod na kasi ako, kaya hindi ko na talaga kaya. So, it's been a few days since I last vlogged. Nakatapos ko lang ng model. Here is the final model! Oh my god! Tada! Yay! Sobrang nagpaganda lang yung grass. Ayan. So, ayan yung front elevation. So, ito yung sa may parking area. Ito yung may roof. Tapos, ayan yung field. Oh my god! Actually, this is the nicest model I've ever done in my whole college life. Kasi ngayon lang talaga ako nag-effort ng sobra-sobra for a model. Gabi, no? Ang galing din pala nagagawa kapag nag-effort ka. <laughs> yung materials, itong columns na to, kasi dapat round, so hindi ko lang gagawin. So, papel lang siya na inikot ko. Itong mga skylight is chicken wire na spray-painted white. Kinuha ko galing sa gate namin. <laughs> Tapos, ito din, chicken wire. Tapos, nagtahi ako nung uh, stocking na white. And, yeah! Oh my gosh! It's done! And look at this. Oh, it's the amphitheater. <laughs> okay. And another thing that I accomplished is my walkthrough. Oh my gosh, first time ko din gumawa ng 3D walkthrough. Ah, I'm so happy how it turned out. Hindi siya sobrang bongga-bongga with people and cars moving. Um, pero okay na din for a first time. So I'm gonna insert that clip after this outro because I'm going to end this vlog here. I'm just going to finish off my PowerPoint so that I can pass it tomorrow. And then the next vlog will be my thesis defense. Oh my gosh, guys. And actually, kakabili ko lang nung susunod for defense. Sobrang abangan nyo na ng next vlog kasi it's sobrang me siya. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe and also don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you're updated whenever I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I'm going to see you on my thesis defense. Bye!